Hi, I'm Green Smoothie Mom, and today I want to show you how to make a plant-based ice cream. This is really delicious, and I based it off of a recipe that I read in uh, Anthony Williams' book, Life Changing Foods. It is plant-based because it's made out of coconut and almond milk. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some coconut milk, and it's the full-fat coconut milk. It is canned, and I choose to purchase the organic type. And on top of this, you can see that there is all the coconut fat. Below this is the coconut milk, the liquid part. This part on the top is called coconut cream. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape it out. I haven't shaken the can or anything like that, so this is just all naturally floated to the top. And I'm going to take all that coconut cream off. So I get a little bit of... Uh, the milk mixed in, but that's okay. I just don't want a lot. I want mostly just that rich and delicious coconut cream on top. This leftover coconut milk mixed with a little bit of cream, I'm just going to pour into a jar because I will use it in smoothies, soups, and other recipes. After that, I'm going to add in two cups of my pre-made perfect almond milk. Now this is the basic recipe, so this is kind of like your vanilla ice cream. You can add whatever you want to it. Um, I love to put cherries, chocolate chips, coconut, uh, other things like that in it. Right now it's fall where I live here in the U.S. and so I really like putting some cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice in it as well. I'm going to put a quarter of a vanilla bean and three dates that are already pitted. I'm going to add some cinnamon to it because I do love cinnamon in just about everything. And it's really important to add a little bit of salt to really enhance the flavor. So I'm going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. For sweeteners for this, you can do all sorts of things. I've already put the dates in, which add some sweetness to it, so you could just go with it as it is. It's kind of on a by-taste basis how you're going to sweeten this and what kind of sweeteners you like. My favorite sweetener is local raw honey. You can also use pure maple syrup. You can use agave syrup. The Bee Free Honey, which is an apple-based product uh, that comes out in the consistency of honey, but they call it Bee Free Honey. You can also use regular sugar and uh, brown sugar, but for this particular one, I'm going to use the local raw honey. I think it's delicious, and I'm going to put in about a quarter of a cup of this honey. Again, this is to taste. If you want it to be sweeter, you can add more. If you don't want it to be as sweet. It's really good just as it is with the almond milk and the vanilla and the salt in it. So now I'm going to blend it up in my blender. cream maker. Don't let that stop you from making this. I could pour this mixture into a glass bowl, put it in the freezer, and then just stir it about every half an hour until it sets up. Since I do have an ice cream maker, I'm going to pour it into my ice cream maker. And I'm going to let that set up. So now I've finished processing it in the ice cream maker. And I'm going to scoop some into a bowl. It's got a really nice consistency, as you can see, just like regular ice cream. And then I'm just going to decorate this up a little bit. I'm going to put some pears on the side. But berries are delicious. Um, putting some cocoa nibs or something, and then I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of maple syrup over the top. Maple syrup is a great flavor this time of year. And there you have a delicious plant-based ice cream that anyone will love. 
No one's going to believe it's actually plant-based. No cream involved. And the consistency is creamy and delicious. I hope you'll try this recipe. Let me know how it goes in the comments. Remember, nutritious can be delicious. And please subscribe.